Now, if scientific research into antelopes is to be believed, <laughs> men could end up wooing the woman of their dreams just by pretending to be frightened. <laughs> the study found women can't resist a man who looks like he's in danger. <laughs> this is not a joke, girls. Experts found that male antelopes tricked the female into sex by pretending they were under threat from a predator. <laughs> Scientists realised they were witnessing intentional deception, oh. a trait typically attributed only to human beings. Oh. So, after that, would you find a vulnerable male attractive? There's no end to it, is there? I don't know. I think, I have to say, in the case of the antelope, in his defence, what? Bio, well, her defence, really, biologically speaking, if yeah. he's looking like he's about to cop it, then she's going to be thinking, oh, I'm not going to be getting my jollies, so the species <laughs> might die out, so I'll get in there quick. I think that's what it is. It's all about procreation. It's always about procreation, isn't it? But I have to say for myself, <laughs> not, being, not speaking as an antelope, um, I am a bit of a sucker for a vulnerable man. Oh, it's terrible, yeah. isn't it? I know, I know, I know, you're all going to hate me. But I just find, well, I, I do find, it's like the mothering thing, isn't it? I I do quite naturally look after my son and my husband Peter to it. I do. To but is that mother or smother? Um, well, I know. I, I'm not proud of this because I don't think it does them any good. I don't think I'm doing them any favours. I really don't. But I think, you know, thank you. All right. I'm getting it. All right. But I'm just no, confessing. Not, I just, I don't know. I find, that, I find sort of. I don't know, sort of slightly weak, pathetic men, a bit attractive. I mean, not that my husband is, or my son, but I don't know. <laughs> I just do. But I don't think it's doing them any favours because, you know, it's not, not really right, that, is it? No, it's not. No, no I've got but I think okay. as a mum, because I've got uh, two children and Cameron is 13, and I have to admit that I do kind of mollycoddle him a little bit. Well, it's because we're naturally strong, aren't we, all of us? But my mother's done it with my brother, yeah. who's called Anton. And, um, and well, well, she... Well, just hang on a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony. No. no. Yeah. Wow. This is getting a bit silly <laughs> now, isn't it? <laughs> Don't carry on, Carl. Stop it up there. Oh, no. I'm just making notes now. Uh, <laughs> Anthony. Yeah, Anton. Oh. Dutch for Anthony. Oh. You do look alike, yeah. like, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Oh, I bet my dad had a bike. Yeah. <laughs> Did. Hey. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what my mum used to do, just talking about nurturing your son, yes. she'd just go, um, Carol, would you like a cup of tea? And I'd go, no, Mum, I'm all right. And she'd go, Anton, would you like a cup of tea? And he'd go, oh, yes, but no, actually, I prefer a coffee, please. Two sugars with milk on my side, you know. And she'd go, Carol, could you make your brother a coffee? <laughs> <laughs> no, I cannot. No, I cannot. But, so I admit that maybe by nurturing them as boys, you know, and kind of a bit of mollycoddling, maybe they grow up to be like that. But I have to say, my dad's uh, is very much the alpha male. He is the alpha male, so well, he's quite is, very know, strong -willed. There's, all, there's that spider, isn't there? That male spider. Yes. Uh, no, sorry, female spider female. that's big. And then ties with that little black spider yeah. and says, come on, love, yeah. get over here. <laughs> and they go, jinky, 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 and, she, and then she kills him. Yeah. <laughs> Can you believe that? It's taken me till this age to learn what I should have done. <laughs> Give me a laugh more than anything here that that spider had a Yorkshire accent. Did you? <laughs> Come on, Wolf. Come on, Wolf. Get over here. I'm a team of Jim. I know. Ah, no, I'm wrong with that. But uh, I'm not into vulnerable. You see, I've always gone for, for strong alpha males, but yeah. actually, that's been probably my downfall because mm. when I have gone for the strong, controlling type who can take care of me, <laughs> Because I'm sort of yeah. very strong, you know, and, and, and then it, it all blows up in your face, doesn't it, really? Yeah. So, because you are like a man, I've always said yes. that. Yes, <laughs> She is. I I she is, she admits it. She said that, you know, it. this little brown I have. You have. I have. I've got that. Well, I say that. That's why I say, hello, my name's Carol, I'm a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got to go out and have a drink, Carol. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> we need more than one. Oh, I think you're right, yeah. 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 So it's a whole crashing of when you've got the strong so. man and the strong woman. Yes, yeah, so, so it's I've, interesting, I've, isn't it? Well, so the answer is. Men are confused now because, you know, we're, we're, we earn the money, don't we? We go out and. Because what women do now, and they're, they're doing whether they're Arthur or Martha because they don't know whether to be nice to you or whatever, do they? So it's just confusing for men that. Oh, poor souls. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Listen, you're getting a divorce this year, yes, young lady. Definitely. You promised us now. Anyway,